What's up, Trekkies? Hi, so we've got I, okay, so let's see here. Consoles, reset has finished. Uh, something that is on both news things is Destination Star Trek Germany. STO is headed to Dortmund. They're going to be bringing Chase Masterson and Dana Visitor and Rene Abrajanwas with them to speak. Uh, they freshly announced Star Trek Online Victory is Life. So, PC, pay more attention to this than, you know console, but eventually it will come out for console. See, as we see, June 2018 for, they say June for Victory is Life. Um, I'm guessing September, August, maybe? Console, and that sucks. But see, console, you guys have featured episode week three. Please, Cryptic, if you ever listen to these things, do not name an episode that they do not say the name of it or something in the episode. Like, seriously, I have no idea how to pronounce that featured episode. And like, I don't want to listen to other STO bloggers try to butcher that. I'd much rather have like an official name statement of it. So, since you guys are on week three, I means technically you'll get three piece unless you already have the ship, then you'll have your four piece. So the three piece is, uh, extends the range of the plasmatic retaliatory coronal ejections. Uh, extends the range of the energy siphoning field, and if you have the ship, then the four-piece modifies the energy siphon to now additionally reduce foe turn rate by 33% and lower their resistances by 15% while providing you those bonuses. It, it's really cool. Uh, it, it allows escorts and pilots to be a bit more drainy, so you want to get more drain expertise. So that's your week three. Your anniversary event is obviously still going. Fun, fun, no makeup particles. Hooray! So, what else is in the news? Okay. Um, they're saying Last Chance Infinity R&D promotion for PC. That goes until Thursday. Uh, a lot of people saw someone in the closed group on Facebook talk about that they got the Sona Collector. And I was like, are you going to turn it into a weapons boat or are you going to science it? And they're like, well, it's only got two tactical consoles, so I might as well, you know, science it. And I was like, oh my god. And sometimes the simplicity of how people play this game just baffles me. Um, I was on Dyson Ground. Uh, I do it every day. And it's just like, I'm watching a science officer with a science officer and a tactical officer. Those are the bridge officers, and they're running around, and all she's doing is using that Iconian statue. Never uses one of her kit's abilities. Never. Never saw her sensor scan. Never saw her heal anything in case she was a healer. Never. Just shot her weapons constantly. Does she get rewards for it? Yes. I say she because it was a female avatar. Is that probably a guy? Uh, yeah, sadly, probably yes. Mainly because they were in such a skimpy uniform. Not saying girls don't want to have skimpy uniforms, I'm just... We know how this goes. You got all these things at your, pot at your disposal and all you're doing is weapons. Understand that for some play styles, but like, if you're a science officer, please don't limit yourself to just beam boating. So, the background downloaders kicked in. Um, it's the after you log off, it starts downloading stuff. A lot of people think it's useless because oh, it doesn't download anything. Whatever, it downloads a little bit. And it helps with day of downloading, so that way you already have a little bit and it can scan your system and like, oh, you already have all the basic stuff. Whereas, you know, there's gonna be a lot of people that don't log in until that day and will have to download all multi gigs of it. So, what happens in Expansion 4 is Expansion Victory is Life. This is not the title of the expansion, as confirmed by Steve and Ricosa. Um, based on the early teaser, the expansion is focused on Deep Space Nine and the Dominion and possibly the Gamma Quadrant. So they had a blog thing, not a blog thing. They had one of those like live stream things. And so basically what we've got coming is expansion four. And that's for 2018, uh, June says summer, but I've also seen June. Uh, it's currently March, so we have a ways to go. I mean, the 
blog, the blog post here says June, and that basically follows the featured episode where the Herc are woken up, and I didn't watch the live stream. Honestly, it's hard to, it's hard for me to listen to the STO devs because a few of their voices just grate on me. Like, they are definitely programmers and gaming programmers, not presenters. And that's not necessarily their fault. I mean, it's sort of like if you went to school, got a master's in I don't know, being a chef, a baker, and then all of a sudden someone's like, um, I just broke my knee. And they're like, I can Google how to do it. Um, maybe I can, you know, I know how to bandage stuff like a cut, but it's not really something I trained to do. You know, and sometimes it's personalities. But so I didn't really watch it. And I couldn't, <laughs> it's like, eh, I don't want to watch it. But what I got out of it is that the Jem'Hadar will be a playable race, and the cynical side of me says, just go, just, ugh. I like that a new race is coming in. I do not like the fact that people wait and desire new races because they either need so much, they need new stuff, which is like, Okay, weird. Um, there's actually a number of people out there that want new stuff, new classes, new races, because there's an inherent imbalance that happens every time one of these happens, because you just cannot balance that well, and you have to keep ticking afterwards. So people want to strike up these new characters really fast and be super powerful or then super nerfed and then super powerful while they take care of this and they get things balanced back in. And it's, 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 it's a psychology that I don't like amongst people, guys specifically. And it's another reason for people to have alts. And I'm not saying two or three alts is bad. I'm saying when you have double digit alts and you demand, and like as I've seen on the closed group, people demand that they have more time to do stuff. Like, could you not make the event so like the winter event, way back in December, people were complaining that it takes too long to do stuff in the winter wonderland on 12 characters. And I was like, what? How, I, like, what? I don't know. And so having more, it's like people already have amongst the three-ish factions, they've got like 10 characters. What happens when you put in Gem Hadar? I mean, you've got to have your Gem Hadar if that's, you know, necessarily the playable race. And then you've got to have three of those, science, engineering, tactical. And then you have to have your Vorta, which is probably going to be a race. And then you got to have your three of those. And it's just like, I understand that it's crazy. It's nuts. And then on top of that, people are going to be like, oh, I'm going to have three Gem Hadar because that's really cool. I'm going to make them all tactical officers. We're all going to fly the same ships. I'm like, why? Why make mirror copies of it? Oh, I need to farm dilithium. So that's my issue with having new playable races. The fact that they are basically, I wonder if they're like redoing Deep Space Nine. Like if they're making the inside of the station bigger. I think of this because they're adding, they're bringing in 10 voice actors. And so far we've had, well, they're bringing in nine. We already had Martok. They may be only bringing in a couple, a couple more because it's like well, Martok, we had Chase Masterson, we had, um, so we're gonna need, as we, we'll get Odo and Quark and Kira, and as they've announced, Garrick and Bashir. I mean, it's sort of like, who's left? Are we bringing in Ezri Dax? Are we bringing in Miles O'Brien? I'm not necessarily sure if we can bring in Cisco, but we can bring in, did we already get Nog? I think we actually did get Nog in that one episode, but it's also possible to bring in Jake. That's that benefit. Um, I mean, I'm kind of excited to go to the Gamma Quadrant. They did say that there's going to be a battle zone, but a sector space battle zone, not a system space battle zone. So not like the Badlands or the Dyson Sphere, or the Dyson, yeah, the Dyson Sphere or the Zenkethi battle zone, like something in sector space. And I don't know what that entails. They, they're, they're hoping that it will provide enough dynamic gameplay that there is, um, Stuff that they, they, it'll last for a long time and not be like other ones where it's just like rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. I mean, obviously things become rinse and repeat eventually through the game. Even basic systems become rinse and repeat. It's just how these games go. It's called the grind for a reason. But it's like, yeah. 
as is, you know, the that's it. I mean, we've got obviously some ships coming in for the Jem'Hadar or Dominion faction, we'll call it. Uh, probably not a whole butt ton of ships. The level cap will be raised to 65, which I'm not sure if that's going to give us bonus skill points to put into our actual skill tree. Uh, that would actually be pretty cool because there's a couple things. It's like the amount that I had was not quite enough, but I may do. I'd like I would have liked to have like two more points, but they're after the fact points. Like I don't think I maxed out shield regeneration at the time because I was using a resilient shield, and then the temporal defense initiative came out, and I was like, oh. Maybe I could do with a little bit more shield regeneration. So that's what's going on with that. There's not much other news. I, I've checked. STO news. Yeah, no, just Germany and then victory is life. What else we got going on in victory is life? Oh, they say there's a new, they're putting a new queue, a new progression system. I don't know what that progression system is. Like I said, I didn't really listen to the... Yeah, it says, and we'll add a sector battle zone, a new gameplay feature that takes players into a war between the stars to save the Gamma Quadrant. I can't imagine what that is, but in order how I would make a sector space battle zone would be you go into each system and what happens in those systems overall is progressive towards the sector space bar and that a few of them a few of the systems will be pvp based a few of them will be like capture the flag based and they'll be bigger rather than like confined to a small area within a battle zone you'll be able to have the full map of a system space to be able to do this so hopefully it'll be a lot more involved but again i don't know i'm hoping so because i'm a little bored of the badlands but just love me my dilithium Anyways, that's all. That's all the news. We haven't had any new announcements of people coming in. Like I said, there's 10, and I'm not sure if they're gonna announce any more today. Checking the group thing right now. Not the private group, that thing's a troll fest. Oh, there's just the video, and then the infinity promotion. Yep, that's it. All right, if you guys have any speculation about what the expansion's gonna be, um or how much you think that everything's gonna have to be tweaked in 14.5 because, or whatever. I'm kind of losing track on stuff here. I just sort of report on the news. You guys next week, hopefully for some more information about the next expansion. Bye.